And you'll be meeting Meg, the red-footed tortoise, having a little lettuce here on the Dawn Show. We are live and we are local and we are joined by Erin McCool DeLong, Director of Outre Outreach Programs at yes. the Philadelphia Zoo, America's first zoo, which is pretty cool. Uh, one more thing about Philadelphia, that we right. have this amazing zoo that's so special. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is an amazing tortoise. Yeah, she is, she's about 25 years old, so she's in the middle of her life. These guys- they live how long? About 50 or 60 years. They can even live up into 70 years if they're really healthy, which we hope that Meg will. Yeah. She'll be with us for a while. Um, she's been at the zoo since she was a small little tortoise. Uh, they call them red-footed tortoises because you'll see she's got these red scales on her feet. So even though she doesn't have red feet, she does have scales on her feet that are red. Can I feed her a yeah. little bit? She's you got a little in front of her, but I'll just yeah, try Yeah, we'll her. see if she's interested. See, just kind of place it in front of her beak. Tortoises have beaks. Right oh, here. I think she's going to go for go. it. She's uh, actually an omnivore. Some tortoises are herbivores and some are omnivores. So she'll get a little bit of meat in her diet, a little bit of egg. Um, and she's like one of my kids. A little I bit of protein. I don't want lettuce. <laughs> now, if you had a banana or a grape, that would be one of our oh, favorite things in the world. We okay. try to limit that in her diet because it's a little sweet. So oh, That's interesting. Yeah. What is it about tortoises and turtles? I think for kids, I mean, we think of the Galapagos yeah. turtles. We can learn a lot from turtles. Sure, but there's yeah. something so fascinating. They're so recognizable. And I think, you know, for small children, um, turtles come in really small sizes and really big sizes. So for a small um, child to see something that is um, something that's recognizable in their storybooks and is small and not scary, uh, it's a great connection. Kids love turtles and tortoises. Um, these guys are not as big as our giant tortoises. You'll see when you go to the zoo, yeah. we've got those large giant Galapagos and Aldabra tortoises. She won't get to be quite that big. She'll stay about the size that she is right now. Okay, and what event um, is tied to Meg? So um, we have this great trailway system. If you go to the giant tortoise exhibit and look up, you'll see we have a new trail for some of our smaller primates that's recently opened up. We've got some pictures of our red cap mangabe and some of our lemurs walking through right now. It's a flexible uh, steel system. And this is brand new. Um, no other zoo has really blown this out like we are. Um, we opened up a trail in 2011 um, where primates can actually leave their exhibits and walk through the zoo on these trailway systems. It gives them the choice to move pretty far outside of their exhibit and explore. And we have found that they are just loving it. Um, this uh, last summer, we opened up our orangutan trail, which is 16 feet off the ground. Orangutans walk around the outside. You'll see them above Bird Lake. And we have goats uh, walking in a trail above our Kids Who You exhibit. And um, next, we're hoping to open up our big cat trail as well. So, And I think or orangutans are also one of those animals that kids oh, just love. Yes. We think of Borneo. Mm -hmm. We think of the movement to save them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my my six-year-old David wanted to know, though, do they will they poop on you because they're oh, above you? Absolutely, <laughs> which but, is yeah, so cool. We were very strategic about how we <laughs> built this trail, though. Of course, that's certainly they have no care in the world of where they go to the bathroom. So we've actually developed on um, one of the systems um, where it crosses the public path. There is a barrier there. So for those of you who may not be so excited about that, <laughs> might not no worries. Get baptized. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> no worries. We've taken care of that for you. But certainly, that's something that uh, they have no care in the world about. <laughs> This is, I mean, this is something to be excited about. Oh, I think sure. that the zoo is, right now, it's the best it's ever been. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we were all sad when the elephants left, mm -hmm. and it was, that was a bummer. Yeah, it and was I a just, hard time. It was, and mm -hmm. now I just feel like the zoo has made this wonderful comeback. It's and a total transformation. I mean, this spring we have opened up um, more new exhibits and um, things that are happening than ever before in recent history. So um, the trailway system is really changing the game yeah. and um, really changing the way we view animals in a zoo. So not just for the animals being able to move about, but as a visitor, you get to walk through the zoo and who knows what you'll see around the next corner. So yeah, because it's almost interactive in the yeah. sense that I mean, you're looking up, you're looking down, you're looking around. It's much more dynamic. So mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Almost like you were walking around in the jungle <laughs> or the rainforest, for sure. All right, Erin, we're, we're going to continue our conversation. We've got mm -hmm. more animals. This is fun. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Oh, I'm so glad to come. This is a lot of fun. We're going to be right back. Great. <laughs> 